Okay, let's start with the oval shape for the head. We're gonna put that in the middle of the paper and just a little bit closer to the top. I'm gonna do this very lightly at first until I get the shape that I'm happy with and then I'll go ahead and make it darker. Okay. So now I'm gonna make it a little bit darker down here. Okay. I'm not gonna make it darker all the way around because we're gonna be adding things here. I'm gonna put a curve to, to add a hat. So a little curve right here. And we're gonna make a little party hat for our llama. One of those little fun pom-poms at the top. And then I'm gonna erase that line that was here before. Okay. And then straight from here, we're gonna make the ears. So it goes up, 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 up. And then we're gonna curve down. So there's one ear. And then we're gonna put another line right here going up like that. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna start right where the hat ends. Go up. Curve around. And then we're gonna put a line right here. And then you can make this darker over here now. Okay. It's good to have an eraser when you're sketching out your cartoon. I'm gonna add some lines here, but not straight across. I'm gonna curve them. It makes the hat look like it's coming out at you a little more. Okay, and now we're gonna give our llama some sunglasses. Okay, so for the sunglasses, we're gonna add a curve here. They're gonna come out further than the head. And then we're gonna go around. Okay, and now I'm making the little part that connects to the other side here. Gonna make this a little darker so you could see it better. And this side comes over the edge too. And then you just go ahead and erase the part of the face. And then we're gonna make the frame that goes all the way around it. Okay, inside here, I'm gonna make a little lightning bolt, I call it. It's a reflection in the glasses. Okay. Now we have to make the mouth and the nose here. So we're gonna make an upside down, well actually I always say this, it's either an upside down U or it looks like the shape of a rainbow. And then it comes out like this, back around. Now it looks like the shape of a bell, doesn't it? 
Okay. And then from there, make the bottom part of the mouth. Okay, and there's going to be a line right here in the middle that goes up to our nose. The nose to me looks like a heart shape. Okay, so there is a string here. There's a string here that's coming down from the party hat. And then there's a little bow. Okay. And then we have to make the body. So I'm gonna come back up here where the sunglasses end and I'm gonna start making body all the way down see how I'm doing that like that and then we're gonna put like a line going sideways here And we're going to put some fringe hanging off. And before I outline my llama, I am going to put a cactus back here. just for a little more decoration. Maybe some grass. And I think I'm gonna put a cactus on this side too. I'll make this one a little lower. On the cactus, I like to put a few little pointy things, those little pricklers. Okay, and now we're ready for outlining. So take your black marker, and you're just gonna slowly, carefully go over all your pencil marks. Before you do this part, you'll want to take a look and see if there's any corrections or anything you want to tweak with your picture first. And then once you're happy with it, you're just going to trace everything. And any pencil marks that are showing after I trace, I could always go back with an eraser and remove them. everything, even the nose. This llama looks like one cool dude. He looks like he's a fun, fun guy. Okay, 
I'm not going to color these in because I'm going to use those. I want to save that for a different color, but I am going to outline my cactus. One more. The last time we did cartooning last week, what did we do? We did the under the sea with the crab and the fish. And I was so impressed that I couldn't wait to do cartooning again this week because everyone did such a great job. All right, so now that I've outlined everything, now it's the fun part where you get to use whatever colors you like. And add some color, or if you like it black and white, you can leave it like that too. And you can even do a combination of marker and crayon if you want to mix it up a little bit. You know what? I'm going to be silly. And I'm, because I told you that my llama looks like he is a fun dude. So I'm going to make my sunglasses two different colors on each side because that's how he rolls see you can really just get creative with it and do anything you want and I'm going to give him an orange hat with a green pom-pom. And yellow stripes. For the middle of the sunglasses, I'm gonna paint, I'm not paint, I'm so used to saying paint. I'm going to color everything black except for the lightning bolt in the middle which is supposed to be a reflection just looks like it's in the shape of a lightning bolt though his nose is black too These fun little things are all different colors. I'm going to make this part gray.
found a bigger marker for here so that goes a little quicker. And then because it's a party, let's do some confetti. Whoop. I'm just gonna make some confetti in the background because this is my party animal. So you see how I'm just making them go in every which direction? Okay, and you go ahead and play with yours as much as you want until you're happy with all the colors. Here's mine. Thank you so much for drawing with me today. And remember to share your art so that we can get it in the virtual art exhibit at the end of the week. Have a great day.